Hey guys, Anuj here from the Physics Paragons, and today we will be talking about the Higgs boson. Okay, so first, we need to know what a boson really is. Bosons are, for the most part, force carrying particles. There are also some other bosons that don't carry forces, and for our purposes, we don't need to know about them. In 1964, a scientist called Peter Higgs finally theorized what was being floated around at that time and voiced the idea of a mass generating boson. By 1995, even though the Higgs boson hadn't yet been discovered, it was already being used in the standard model to make successful and accurate predictions. It was even able to successfully predict the discovery of the top quark, the heaviest known particle. But when was the Higgs boson really discovered? It was officially discovered very recently, on, only on July 4th, 2012. The best way to understand the Higgs boson is to realize that there is an everywhere permeating Higgs field. The Higgs field is essentially the result of countless Higgs bosons being emitted, and it is the interaction with the Higgs bosons that gives particles their mass. The particles interact with one Higgs boson at a time, but as soon as that interaction is done, another Higgs particle takes its place and another interaction is started. The particles interact with one Higgs boson at a time, but as soon as that interaction is done, another Higgs particle takes its place and another interaction is started. This series of endless interactions between subatomic particles and Higgs particles is what gives subatomic particles their mass. The more a particle interacts with the Higgs field, regardless of its size, the heavier the particle weighs. As of right now, the Higgs boson is seen as the mediator of the Higgs field. Unfortunately, existence of the Higgs field is undetectable to us right now, but by finding the Higgs boson, we can infer of the field's existence. The Higgs boson has helped with so many spin-off theories. I'll only highlight one of them because there are way too many to cover all in one video. One very compelling theory is something called supersymmetry. This theory is basically trying to take all the extra parts of the standard model and put it together, and it essentially predicts a heavier part of a particle for every single fundamental particle. For example, the heavier part of a particle of the quark is something called a squark, and the heavier part of a particle of the Higgs boson is something called the Higgs xenos. So these are just some of the basics of the so-called God particle. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed, please hit that like button below. Also, please subscribe to our channels; that'd be totally awesome. And as a side note, if you guys want to learn more about bosons in general and what they do, I'll put a link in the description down below for you guys to learn some more. Thanks for watching, and please check back with us next time for some more awesome videos on modern physics.